Plate tectonics, explained by Eric Strope. Divergent boundaries. At divergent boundaries, there are two plates that are driven apart from each other by the magma underneath. Now this magma is driven by uh, convection currents within itself. Uh, cooler magma up top sinks down, or uh, the warmer stuff up top cools and sinks down towards the bottom of the mantle where it warms up and uh, rises back to the top. The stuff down here warms up, rises, up here it cools, falls down. This is just going all over, you know, driving these plates apart. And then when these plates move, magma fills up and fills in the holes. So you can end up with uh, volcanoes and earthquakes uh, and also uh, ridges or uh, it's called rift valleys like the one over here. This is a rift valley. I don't know where that's taken for sure but uh, that's just a rift valley. So you can also make uh, ridges like mountain chains. Convergent boundaries. A uh, convergent plate boundary are where two plates move towards each other. Uh, there's three types of convergent boundaries. There's oceanic oceanic subduction, continental oceanic subduction, and continental continental collision. At oceanic oceanic subduction, the two oceanic plates move towards each other. And uh, at this kind of boundary, both plates subduct. They both knuckle in and uh, sink into the mantle. Uh, these boundaries cause uh, tsunamis, volcanoes, and earthquakes, and uh, they form islands and deep sea trenches. When they knuckle down, they form the trenches, and when they cause volcanoes, those volcanoes build and over time uh, rise above the surface of the ocean or the sea or wherever and cause uh, islands to form. Uh, the islands of Japan, the South Sandwich Islands, and the Aleutian Islands have all been formed because of uh, oceanic oceanic subduction. Uh, continental oceanic subduction is a boundary where a continental and an oceanic plate converge together. And the denser of the two, the uh, oceanic plate over here, will move underneath the less dense continental plate. Uh, and as they do that, they'll catch and slip and cause earthquakes and uh, when they're going down, magma will seep up right in through here and cause volcanoes to form. Uh, uh, the uh, Andre Andes Mountains and the Cascade Mountains have both formed because of oceanic continental subduction. Uh, and finally, there's the continental continental collision. This is where two continental plates move towards each other and neither subducts. They both knuckle up and collide and build uh, mountain ranges like the Himalayas right over here. Uh, as they do this they also cause earthquakes. And then there's transform boundaries. Uh, at transform boundaries there are two plates moving alongside each other like over here. They can both move in the same direction but at different speeds. Uh, they can move in opposite directions and uh, then they can also be moving one on top of the other. Same story, same direction, different speeds, different directions. And these boundaries cause uh, surface fault formations, which is over here. You see this big old crack right there? Uh, the guy who took that photo wrote that that was caused in just a couple of seconds during a 7.2 magnitude earthquake. So the plates slip and catch when they're moving past each other like this and then when they slip they cause that in earthquakes. The layers of the earth. The earth is divided into four main layers the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. Uh, the crust, the topmost layer, which is where we live, is between 3 and 25 miles thick depending on the location. The mantle, which is below that, is about 1800 miles thick and ranges between 1600 and 4000 degrees Fahrenheit and is just molten rock. Below that is the outer core, which is about 1,400 miles thick and between 4,000 and 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's melted iron and uh, uh, other metals. Just really hot. And then below that, the center of the Earth, is the inner core, which is about 800 miles thick and around 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And the inner core is so uh, pressurized that it's solid, so there's a solid iron core for Earth. And then the convection currents 
which causes the plates to move. Uh, also causes the outer core, the liquid iron, to move around the uh, inner core, solid inner core, which causes Earth's magnetic field. Which